Hello everybody and welcome to Taking a Peek. I'm your host Nate and today we're going to be taking a look at Destiny. Uh, this is the PS4 version just so everyone is aware and uh, yeah let's just jump straight into it. This is your the first screen that you get to that assigns you in and yes the load screens on this right now are a little bit atrocious just a little bit uh, for a console game anyway there's there's no reason for it to take this long for me to get to my character selection screen and it's still loading alright well today we're gonna take a peek take a look at um, character selection uh, which is really the only menu before you get into the game and then we'll take a look at the options that it gives you as well as <coughs> excuse me as well as the gameplay itself and if we have time one of the missions so this is the first screen um, as you can see I have two characters here I'm gonna play as my hunter today I'm saving my Titan for when my brothers and I play uh, yeah so we're gonna play as a hunter this is it that's all you get no as you can tell there were no options menus there nothing of the sort unfortunately now the good news is after you load a character you come to this screen this screen you can get into the options menu also your inventory uh, your character screen and your roster uh, which is your fire team or friends that are online and people that are in the game and in the same area as you so as you can see I'm a level six um, yeah with all this cool gear first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the settings so this is the settings menu that's your ghost in the background um, settings are pretty slim which is fine for a console game you don't need a whole lot of settings um, realistically what we need is a logout button that's pretty sweet I can either get all the way out or just change character brightness settings this is your basic brightness settings oops I didn't mean to actually change the brightness so there you go pretty easy I have mine set on five I like my screen to be a little brighter than normal screen bounds I'm really glad they added this in here it has you set it up when you first start the game but you never, you know, you're never quite sure if you're missing anything. It's easier to tell when you're actually playing. Um, I think I set mine up just fine. Some people might have issues, but it lets you retry as many times as you want. Um, voice options. Yes, this is it. You can either do speakers only, headset only, or both. Uh, that is voice options for the chat. That is not for um, voiceovers just chat. Subtitles, I went ahead and turned mine on because there were a few times where I couldn't really tell what they were saying. I thought I knew but I wasn't sure and I realized it'd just be easier if I just turned it on. Uh, it only does this for cutscenes and important plot points. So it's not gonna give you the voices of everybody running around um, all the enemies. It's not gonna do any of that. Um, also, non-important plot points are things that you're not supposed to be able to hear. You can't read. Uh, for example, there was one mission where <clears throat> I uncovered the last transmission of a ship, had no idea what they said, so I turned this on, played the mission again, and it didn't tell me what they said. The whole point was for me not to know. Uh, look controls. I think it starts on three. I'm pretty sure I up mine to five. I could probably go up to six or seven and be more comfortable, but I'm not sure yet. I haven't played enough to really figure that out. Whoever plays on ten is psychotic. Um, look inversion, that's pretty easy. Auto look centering, I'm not entirely sure what they mean by that. I know what auto look is, I know what centering is. I'm not sure what they are together. Controller vibration. <laughs> this thing, every time you fire a gun, it feels like a gun's going off in your hand. It's actually awesome, but we'll get we'll get to that a little later when I talk about the gameplay. Uh, button layout here is interesting. You have six options. Um, you can also switch to left, basically left-handed mode. 
down here it says press square to tap or just press press square to swap rather uh, L1 R1 and L2 R2 so if I press that uh, now oh that's, that didn't do at all what I th oh okay I see what it does never mind that's not at all what I thought it was I should have looked at that a little better <clears throat> all that does is change shooting to R1 and melee to R2 I thought that made it like left hand it's mirror do mirror makes it left handed more or less we're going to set the default because I'm going to end up picking one and not knowing what the buttons are so yeah you get a bunch of options there and you look and move this is you know your your joystick keys um, this is pretty much par for the course all the settings are the ones that you would expect to see and that's it that's all the settings now that's pretty much fine unless you have some weird issue um, field of view it'd be nice if we could get that but we can't get that on PC games so the odds of us getting it on a console game pretty slim um, you know wishful thinking but uh, that's all you really need for a PS3 or a PS4 game rather sorry uh, it's been a while since I console gamed so not having a hundred thousand options is a little little different for me uh, next we're gonna take a look at the inventory menu as you can see it's basically not existent you have some materials which you can use either as currency like this one is or others are called material those you collect and you can uh, use to increase weapons uh, some weapons and armor require certain materials as well as experience as well as levels you never know what you're gonna get uh, let's talk about these up here glimmer is the currency um, it's dollars more or less I screwed up last time and called it shinies when I was talking to my brother and I was like I don't remember what they're called it's glimmer close enough um, <clears throat> glimmer is actually shared between all your characters which I was really surprised when I started the second character and had like 4,000 glimmer I had no idea what's going on why why did I have 4,000 glimmer well because it's shared it's a shared resource so you can effectively farm a character and have tons of glimmer for another character or you know if you have like my Titan for example has a whole bunch of high level items that I didn't have to buy I have to pay for so I have lots of glimmer left over Vanguard marks uh, you get these by participating in the Vanguard system I have not done so yet I don't even actually have it unlocked yet so I'm not entirely sure what it does but I do know it allows you to buy weapons and armor which is pretty good uh, crucible marks are again you participate in the crucible that is the multiplayer just one second <sighs> that's better my ear was itching um, the crucible is a multiplayer aspect of this game I've yet to do that yet as you can see uh, I have zero marks I'm sure you get something for at least participating I would hope so if not a lot of people are gonna be upset and not be able to do anything with those um, but I've heard it is very good, very competitive, very fast-paced. Um, I've heard comparisons to Titanfall. Not sure if I would really compare it to Titanfall because of the RPG aspects. Now, into the uh, actual inventory itself, I already explained materials. There's all sorts of those. There's also consumables that you can pick up. Uh, things like extra ammo that you can use to replenish am am ammunition. There's also items that sometimes enemies drop that uh, give you extra glimmer from killing them. So my Titan has an item that if I use it for 10 minutes, I get extra glimmer from killing uh, the Fallen. Those That type of enemy, that race, I guess, of enemies. Um, all sorts of consumables. To be honest, there's plenty of slots here. I've had maybe two or three of these filled up. And same thing over here. I think my Titan has four squares that now have things in them but I'll never use up four squares uh, mission items that's exactly what it sounds like there are items for the mission they can put down here if you have more than 10 you're doing something wrong uh, now bounties this one's interesting these are basically challenges uh, for example this one is to melee kill 30 enemies without dying so I have to run up to 30 guys and punch them unfortunately I'm, I'm trying to run my hunter as more of a mid to long range uh, excuse me combat style uh, I'm not sure how effective that's going to be, 
Titan, I blew through this. I just, I punch people left and right with that guy. Um, he's got tons of armor. I just walk up to him and start hitting him. I, I blew through this one. Uh, this one is kill 10 Hive Majors or Ultras. Unfortunately, they don't tell you what those are. There's not like a little sign above their head. I assume that like the captains are Majors. Maybe they're actually called Majors. I've never seen one. So I don't know. But you get Vanguard Reputation, which unlocks certain things, and you get extra experience um, on top of whatever you got for killing, you know, 10 of them. Let's say you get 10 experience each. That gives you 5,100 experience. I just did math poorly. Uh, now, the problem with bounties is you can only have five, which sounds like a lot. Oh, five different challenges at a time? That's pretty good. Well... There's not just single player bounties. These are. These are just single player bounties because I haven't done any multiplayer with this character. I'm probably going to make a Titan that's dedicated to multiplayer and do it that way. Multiplayer bounties are also on here. So if you have a character that does a mix of both, you can easily have five bounties all the time. Um, I mean, you can buy three at a time of each type, so you're going to miss one no matter what. Uh, so that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, next, we'll look at the character. As you can see, I'm level six. We'll just go ahead and jump in there. I barely have any experience into level six, but we'll take a look at, at character progression. Um, so this is the hunter, the g gunslinger. This is a subclass. Hunter is the uh, overarching class. I don't know. Uh, it tells you how much armor you have, and again, these scales are absolutely meaningless. I assume that a lot of armor is good. Doesn't really tell me. Uh, recovery and agility, and I love that they explain exactly what all those do. Now, these are my abilities down here. Um, it's kind of a strange ability chart, because you don't really... There's not a whole lot of them that you have to choose between one or another. Um... For example, basically all these in this row, I get whatever's here. So this one gives me a double jump. This one increases my double jump, makes it better. This one gives me a triple jump. This one upgrades the double jump for even higher heights. Like that's, I just get them all. Now over here are grenades. These I actually have to choose from. So right now I have an incendiary grenade, which I really like actually. Didn't think I'd like it, but watching people run around on fire is fantastic. And below that is a swarm grenade. So when I unlock that, which will probably be in this next mission, um, I'm going to have to choose. Now, the swarm grenade sounds awesome. You throw a grenade and drones come out and blow up enemies. That's, that's pretty cool. But then later I'll get a third option with an explosive grenade. Uh, looks like it, it's basically a trip mine. Uh, now, you can change these at any time, so if you're running around and you decide you don't like one, you can always switch back. And actually, I think you get a trophy for switching back. You probably get an achievement if you're on the Xbox One or 360. Uh, but yeah, basically, these little green circles fill up, and when they're full, you can unlock that ability, and that's what you get. Um, it's actually really nice. Now, other things increase your stats. So, Scavenger here or not scavenger, way of the drifter here increases all of my attributes just straight up they're increased you're a better player or you're a better character now than you were before that's all there is to it um, these I've yet to unlock with any of them I'm not sure if you have to pick one I would assume so since it's kind of a mirror of what's going on over here I don't know we'll find out when I get that far I guess um, have to stop at like level 13 or whatever my Titan is kind of stinks, but I I really want to play that character with with my friends, so we're gonna do that. Uh, so it looks like the path forbidden is more about recovery and speed. That's not my kind of playstyle. I'd I'd rather have lots of armor. I I'm a tank. I'm always a tank. If I can't tank, then I'm doing something wrong. Uh, next, we're gonna look at items because actually these are really interesting. There's four types of primary weapons. You have the scout rifle. You have the auto rifle, you have the hand cannon, and you have the pulse rifle. Now, scout rifle is a semi-automatic rifle. It's exactly what you think it is. Every time you pull the trigger, it shoots a bullet. Uh, auto rifle, it's it's a full auto weapon. 
hold the hold the trigger, it keeps shooting. Hand cannon is is a big hand cannon. That's it's massive. It's like a forty four magnum. You're shooting at people in the head with it. It's fantastic. Uh, the pulse rifle is a three round burst weapon, uh, kind of like the battle rifle of Halo. <clears throat> I'm not sold on it. I like three round burst weapons. I don't know. I just I have really found it good use for it. Uh, then you have special weapons. I think there's three types. Sniper rifle, which is what I'm using. A shotgun, which is what I'm using on my Titan. And a, um, what's the other one? A fusion gun, which is kind of like a rail gun. It takes some charge up time, and then you basically blast whatever it is. Then there's two heavy weapons. There's rocket launchers and machine guns. I like the rocket launcher. Uh, machine gun, I find I waste ammo way too easily. Rocket launcher, it forces me to shoot one at a time. I like that. It's good for me. Uh, over here, you have your basic uh, helmet, arms, chest, legs, and then a special. So these guys have a cloak. Mine's a makeshift cloak. It's not very good, as you can see. Um, the Titan has some kind of tabard. And I'm not sure what the Warlock has. But they all have special ones. And so far I haven't found any that do anything. They just look cool. But here's the cool thing. So you see how this one's green? And down at the bottom it says discipline plus 7. And increase reload with scout rifles. If we hit triangle and go into the details. This is actually an unlockable thing. I had to use this weapon or this armor for a little bit. Before this unlocked. And then I could upgrade it to do this for me and since I use scout rifles this is actually really good um, up here it tells you how much defense you have that's your armor rating basically and then down here it has a bunch of special stats so strength uh, increases the cooldown of one of your abilities in my case it's a throwing knife in the Titans case it's whatever whichever ability you choose for his punch mine I have some super special punch that basically makes people explode I really like it. That's why I melee all the time. As soon as it's full, I'm punching someone in the face. Discipline increases, or decreases rather, the cooldown time of your grenades. I love this. This is the best idea ever. Um, being able to increase the number of grenades I can throw in, in a given amount of time is, is unparalleled. I use them all the time. I was actually kind of upset at first when I realized it was on a cooldown timer, and then I realized I use it so often that I would be out of grenades all the time anyway, so cooldown works. And this is how I can get my cooldown back and use it more often. Intellect uh, lets you use, in my case, the golden gun. Um, yes, it basically is the golden gun. It will pretty much one-shot things if you hit them in the head. It's, it's that powerful. Um, but this increases your, or decreases the cooldown time of your special ability, uh, where you have to hold either both triggers or both L2 and R2 to start your special ability. Uh, the Titan has this Hulk smash thing where he hits the ground and everything around him dies. And the Warlock uh, basically shoots a ball of energy. It's basically a fireball, except it's like dark energy, I think. And light increases my level, uh, which increases the damage my abilities do against higher level enemies. Uh, I've yet to find anything that increases either of these two stats, light or intellect. I've never seen anything do it yet, uh, but those are pretty powerful increases, so I can understand why I haven't found them. I'm only level 6. And guns do the same thing. You can find green guns that can upgrade like that. It works out pretty well. Now... One thing I will say about this before I get started in a game is that this tends to be more fun with other people. When I was playing by myself, I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong, I love playing single player games. It was a lot of fun. However, when my brother called me and we played together, we had the best time. It was fantastic. So, I'm going to tell you right now, if you pick up Destiny, Find somebody who plays it that you can stand and play with them all the time. Now, I'm using my hunter to play through all the story missions by myself. 
as a single player, I I love single player games. I want the story. I want to know what's going on. Which brings us to our next point. Bungie made it clear that we were going to get a cool epic storyline with awesome abilities and and a galaxy spanning adventure and you know we'd have to fight for the survival of the human race and I don't know what's going on I really don't I have been to earth to the moon and to Venus with my Titan I still have no idea what's happening I don't get it I'm finding some fundamental flaws in the game itself. Like, for example, we see all these space, alien spaceships flying around all the time that shoot me when I'm on the ground. But I'm flying around in my spaceship right here, and look in the background. There's nothing. There's nobody out here. I, the unit, It's empty. Why are these aliens not blowing me up right now? I don't, I don't understand. I don't know. That's just me. But um, we're going to get into a story mission. And I'm going to let you guess which part of the story I'm at, because I don't know. And I think it would be more entertaining to see your guesses. Uh, because I haven't figured it out yet. Um, but one thing I will say, look at how beautiful this is. Look at the earth. Look at the stars in the background up here. Look at the sun. I assume that's a sun. I suppose that could be like an exploding ship. But it looks like the sun. It looks a little big, but that's okay too. I've never been to space. Maybe it looks that big from outer space. So we're going to go to old Russia. And we're just going to play... What level am I? Six? Yeah, we're just going to play this story mission. Um. Yeah, we got time. Maybe. Maybe I should just... No, we'll just run through a patrol. That'll be easier. <coughs> forget I'm on a time limit here uh, so anyway it looks very beautiful look at all that the ship moves gracefully it's it's nice but here's another loading screen it doesn't look like a loading screen it is um, you can't do anything here the ship does does not move under my control it'd be really neat if you could just move it around a little um, at least it would give me something to do while I'm waiting but the game is beautiful. It runs in 1080p natively. Um, it it looks good. It feels good. And I'm about to show you some of the gameplay. So this is old Russia. Well, let's go hunting. All right, let's go. So here's some bad guys. Looks like the fallen over here. I'm just gonna switch to my sniper rifle. Oh, it's been a day or two since I played. Um, Hi. Alrighty. So, a couple of things you'll notice is the sound quality is still amazing. It's it's really good. Um, which is is really nice to have in a game like this where we're used to the Call of Duties of the world. We're used to you know games that may not necessarily have the best sound quality. The guns don't always feel like guns. In this game, they do. I wish I had a shotgun to show you what that was like. Um, oh god, that's what's blowing me up. Alright, yep, see, ship's attacking me. Uh, spit metal leaves, okay. Sure. So, nope, I totally missed. But, it was a great example of the recoil of the gun. I completely missed, and that screwed me up because the gun recoiled, and I didn't have another shot. Man. Sorry, I played Last of Us between then and now, and I just can't seem to aim in this game anymore. Alright, so, as you can see, guns do recoil. There is... It moves. It's not sitting still. I can't unload a full clip and not not compensate for the recoil of the weapon. Um, you you will die very fast that way. I've done it. I know. Um, however, when you aim, the recoil is significantly reduced, and of course, as you play 
uh, you can unlock upgrades that have um, abilities that re reduce recoil. Um, again, look at how pretty this is. Look at the sky. It's so pretty. The sun is blinding me. There's a bird up there. Ow. Why am I being shot at? Ah, oh, it's the same damn thing. Um, yeah. So, it's, it's very, very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, the gameplay is fantastic. And whenever your guy turns on the flashlight, the controller flashes. And it scared the hell out of me. Um. Am I strong enough to kill these guys yet? So down here, there's a whole bunch of guys with question marks for heads. Nope, nope, not strong enough yet. We're gonna run away. Actually, no, we're gonna do this. Let's do this. Where are you at? Take a grenade. That did not even hurt you. Let's see how quickly they kill me. Can I kill one? Nope, I'm dead. One shot. Alright. So, there are places you do not want to go. I found one. There it is. That's for all of you future Destiny players. Don't go down there. At least not at level 6. Uh, yeah. It's, it's scary down there. But, look at it. The gun even has an ammo counter on there. And the model is good. And the gun part, the part of the gun that's closer to you is blurry. Isn't that awesome? I find that fantastic, that they actually blurred out part of the gun in order to make it feel like you have, uh, depth perception. That's the word I'm looking for. How do I throw that knife? I have this ability. Oh, I have to hold it. Oh, cool. Alrighty. It's good to know. Now, I'm on this super special... I don't even remember what it's called. Um... What is this called? I don't know. But anyway, I can go out here and select different missions. Anyone listening? New Monarchy has a standing bounty for scans from this location. Alright, which location? That location over there. So we're gonna go that way. There you go, buddy. Whoever's shooting at them, that'll make it easier for you. Really easy now that I've killed them all. Alrighty, so now I'm on just a little side mission that who knows where it's going to take me. Whee! Ow. Ow. I'm upside down. <laughs> it's not as if we can just lift. She's a very strong lady. Um, sorry, red versus blue reference there. Uh, yeah, actually this little, I think they're called sparrows. They're pretty fun. They're basically pod racers. Or not pod racers. Uh scout bikes. Oh god. Above me? Where am I going? It is above me. How do I get up there? I don't imagine it's like this. Okay. Ow. Stop hitting things. I said stop hitting things. Alrighty. So this mission is pretty simple. I go over here and they want me to scan this stuff. Oh, that was bad. I jumped instead of not jumping. Dang it. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Now, one of the problems with Destiny, of course, is they told us this would be a big, expansive environment and everything you saw you could get to. Well, I see that and my guess is that water will kill me. That's that's just a guess, of course. I have not tried it yet. Please make this jump. Thank you. I'm here. Oh, flight recorder. Oh, I have to be inside. Dang it. Okay. That is not what I thought was going on. Go ahead and scan this. Watch out for enemies behind me. And that's that mission. It's that simple. Great work. It's a lot. There are a lot of go here, do this missions. Uh, I mean, it's it's a first-person shooter. 
it's very difficult to have other kinds of missions in a first person shooter. I understand that. Um, unfortunately, it can make it a little, a little boring. I mean, it's not really boring. I've, I've yet to run into a part in this game where I was bored with it, but I've definitely run into parts where I didn't feel that the game was living up to expectations. So, you know, take what you will there. Um, the hype is not real. It is not that big, huge promise they gave us. However, it is still very good. I threw that too far. Ah, it worked out. It's still a very good game. It's got amazing oh, gunplay. That's, that's one thing I would like to point out. Is the gunplay is awesome. I just ran into an optional mission. Okay. Alrighty. Well, we'll go ahead and show this off, too. Alright, so this optional mission is defeating... Oh, that's not where I need to be. Where do I need to be? Oh, it's coming at me. Great. This optional mission is defeating extraction curves. Uh, this one appears to be over here. Maybe? Where are you stopping, dude? going all the way over there. That's crazy talk. Uh, is that it? I don't know. I think this is it. Yes, this is it. Alright, I found it. Right behind you. Aw. Oh, got him. So, now that I've started this, no matter what, I get something out of it. Even if I fail miserably. Wow, you launch a long way for that. Even if I fail miserably, I'm going to get something. Um, I'm actually really glad Fallen, about to start it. This is, this is a great idea. Great time for me to show this. So, in this case, I finished up this site. Now, another one's going to come in. There he is. I need a good sniping position for this. So I'm gonna go up here, get a good position. Not as good as I hoped. Now these guys are elites; so they got a little tougher. Dang it! Wow! If I could aim, this would be much easier, I think. Alrighty. I don't want to waste a shot on a drake. I definitely don't want to waste a shot on a guy that's almost dead. Almost done. Keep it up. Screw you. Oh, is that a bad guy? Oh no. Okay, good guy. All right. Uh, that can get confusing. Sometimes the good guys will have white armor, and you can't really tell if they're fallen or not. I've tried to kill my own guy more than once. Luckily, friendly fire is not on. So, that's good news. Ah, oh, good, they're dropping him right on the other side of this. That'll give me an excellent position. Now, this one will be very difficult, is my guess, this third part of this mission. Um, probably a lot of guys. Damn. I cannot hit anything. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and use this last rocket that I have here. See if we can get rid of one of those guys. I'm running out. Nope. No, we can't. How much time do we have? 24 seconds. Alright. Now the good news is, if we don't succeed in this, well, there's two parts of good news. If we don't succeed, we still get stuff. Uh, in this case, we'll get two out of the three possible success conditions. Uh, dang good it! Work. Almost got them all. So silver tier there, uh, which is fine. The 
That's not bad for only two people working on it. But these guys will disappear on their own. They run off and then they zap Fry into nowhere. And nobody gets experience or credit for killing them. But they do go away. So you don't have to worry about super hard enemies just sitting on the map waiting to kill you. Um, except if you go underground because then they do. <clears throat> Man, look how pretty that is. Um, another thing, I've noticed the environments appear to be dynamic, like right now it's snowing, it looks like. Uh, sometimes it'll rain, other times it will be nice and sunny, it might be overcast. Uh, you can also be there in morning, midday, and evening. Right now it appears to be evening. Maybe it's morning, evening, and night, I don't remember. It appears to be evening, it looks like the sun is setting over there. Um... Which is pretty sweet. And I actually really like that the motion tracker is not some kind of radar. It is a motion tracker pretty much only. If something's moving, it'll tell you that something in that direction is moving. But it doesn't give you the exact location. I find that to be fantastic. Um, something else, somebody else complained about on a review that I saw. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this right. What was it? I don't know. There, there was something that somebody really hated. And I found that I really enjoyed, actually. I think it had to do with the guns. Oh, no, no, no. It had to do with sprinting. Here we go. Alright. So, I'm, I'm running normally. I can move. I can turn. No problem. I don't have any issues. Now I'm going to sprint. I'm going to push my, my right stick all the way to the left. Not near as much turn radius there. I think that is fantastic. Somebody else was really upset about that. I think it was Angry Joe. He was really upset. And I just found it to be fantastic that they did that. Because if you're at a dead sprint, there's no way you're going to be able to turn like this. Of course you'd be slower on the turn. I really like that. Anyway, all in all, oh, it's actually going to become night. Wow, the moon is big. Look at this sucker. This is huge. There's cracks in it. Look how detailed that is. Anyway, um... Yes. So, Destiny. It is a fun game. I am very much enjoying playing it. I am very much enjoying uh, the story missions even though they don't always make any sense. Somebody's dead. Oh, you're all the way in the building. I'm not saving you. Save yourself. Um, I'm liking that there's always people around. Um, now, as you can see, there's only a couple here. Uh, looks like we got two there. Could be more just over the horizon. I don't know. I haven't seen any. I don't know if that's by design or just not so many people having the PS4 versions yet. Um, but could be by design. It could be a limited... It could be a limited factor there. Um, like, I believe uh, Need for Speed Rivals does that. They only really allow in six players at a time in any one area to, to keep balancing issues. Alright. Uh, oh, crap. This, that grenade totally missed. Um, yeah, so, it's a very fun game. It's obviously beautiful. It looks great. I have seen some videos on last-gen systems, and they don't look near as good. Oh, um, they don't look near as good, unfortunately. That That is an issue with the old older systems. They... They're not as powerful, they cannot handle what the new systems can. And that is very unfortunate for anybody who's playing on an older system. I almost got it for Xbox 360, but I felt that that would be a waste of my money, so I bought a PS4 instead. I know. Um, it's a fun game. Play with friends, please. Please play with friends. Um... It is fun by yourself if you like single-player games. 
it's not as good as you would expect in single player. So, remember that. Join a clan, which I need to do. Uh, join a clan, get a fire team, play with a group of people all the time. Right now the fire team's limits are three. It's not so bad. Um, it's still a lot of fun. But, uh... It, it, this game can be fantastic, and that's just it. It can be. The story is non-existent or non-coherent. I'm not sure which. I feel like there's a story. Something about darkness and a traveler and space aliens. That's that's what I got so far. Um, I haven't really figured it out beyond that. So yeah. Uh, before we go though, I'm going to show you my super special secret superpower I guess um, and we're gonna do this nope wrong button ah, I'm the man with the gold gun and I get three shots and it goes away <laughs> yeah that's that's about it um, yeah so thank you very much for watching I will probably continue streaming the game but I will probably this will be but this will be the end of the peak at it the rest of it will just be me playing a game having fun, doing whatever I want to do, shooting guys in the head. And they can spot me from a long ways off. Man, that was a far distance. Did I miss? Oh, no, I got him. Whoa, that was weird. Alright. As you can see, every now and then there are a couple of technical glitches. Okay, thank you for, very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Nate. Um, check out my other videos. If you like this, you can find me at youtube.com slash Captain Cardone and Twitter dot, uh, Twitter, my Twitter handle, the wow, is at Captain Cardone. Um, of course, you can find me here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Coxie292. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time, take care.